Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to X-Pines TV. I'm Melanie Reese. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is monday may 1st 2023 now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break These brain breaks are so relaxing. Now let's see what happened in Today in History with Nia. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. In today's history on May 1st, 1931, the Empire State Building opened in New York City. The Empire State Building is a 102-story Art Deco skyscraper in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. It was the tallest building in New York City, but lost its title in 2012 to the New York Trading Center. Over a million people visited this building on the opening day, and many people still do. The Empire State Building is 1,454 feet tall and has an annual run every year hosted by the ESB. Wow, that sounds like a long workout running up those stairs. I could never do all that cardio. But let's check in with Zarmel for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Nia. Today's tasty lunch is mac and cheese, garlic roll, Italian sandwich, baby carrots, green beans, diced peaches, and your tracing milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is pancakes, syrup cups, cinnamon graham crackers, cocoa puffs, fresh fruits, 100% apple juice, and your trace milk. Students, keep in mind lunch and breakfast can change at any time into our ice cream lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'd be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Zermel. I can't wait for lunch. This quarter's instructional software challenge ends on June 2nd. Make sure to get or move on on those lessons if you want to be invited to this incentive party. Scholars, the state testing season is starting today with 3rd through 4th graders taking their reading fast test. Good luck! Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum at school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Students, the Patriots store is open every morning and it closes at 7.55 a.m. Tomorrow is 3rd and 4th graders' turn to shop. Don't forget your tickets! Hey sports fan, last week Thursday our girls flag football had a game. We didn't come victorious this time. Sadly they lost 12 to 32. Girls, you got this next time. We want to give a special shout out to number two, Samaya Luiter. She got us two touchdowns and she really showed her passion on the field. For the team and flag football. Well that's it for sports Patriots. Catch you on the next one. Sports fans, tomorrow our girls flag football team has a game against Parkway at 4 p.m. at Byron Piccolo Park. Good luck, girls, and let's go, Patriots! Our Performing Arts Department will be presenting the Spring Music Concert on May 23rd at 6 p.m. It's $5 cash at the door per person to get in, and all funds will go to the Music Department. Make sure to let your parents know so you don't miss it. The Lip Sync Battle is also coming up, and it will be hosted by Pines Cheerleaders on May 18th at 6.30 p.m. If any of the students want to sign up, make sure to stop by Miss Stone's room or ask your teacher for a permission slip slash song choice approval form. Pre-sales are available starting today. Check on my school bus. With this and the spring show coming up, May is guaranteed to be an amazing month. Last week Friday, our Patriots of the Month ceremony took place. Let's check out some highlights.
Thank you for joining us this morning. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we will be celebrating today students that are receiving a certificate for outgoing. That is what we are celebrating this month. Let's give our kindergarten students a great round of Congratulations to our first grade students. Let's give our second grade students a Congrats to all of you who received this award. Now let's go to Destiny to see what some teachers have to say about fast testing. Hey Patriots, so I've been wondering, since fast testing is coming up, what are some words of encouragement or tips that teachers will give to students taking the fast? So, I decided to grab my equipment and the crew, and together we're going to go around the hallways asking teachers what they think. And who knows, maybe you can use this advice for your testing. Christian, we have a mic right here. Oh. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Can we ask you some questions about the fast testing? You kind of put me on the spot here. <laughs> oh, you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> what breakfast would you recommend your students eat before the uh, fast testing? Cereal. <laughs> <laughs> cereal? I know it's a little sugary, but you put milk in it and it's carbs. I'm a cereal girl. I love me some cereal but I also love me a good toast and eggs. A healthy, hearty breakfast. Not, not Nothing too much to like weigh them down, but just enough that they're saturated. Something light, you know, so you won't feel like you're about to throw up during a yeah. test, you know? Like oatmeal, bananas. What words of encouragement would you give to your students for the FAST testing? Um, even if you think that you could do it in your head, you need to use that paper. Uh, definitely to take their time. Uh, do not rush through it. You guys have spent all year working hard. Um, just a plot. Guys, now I'm super nervous. <laughs> um, boys and girls, focus, be stress-free. You guys are gonna do great. I'd say you've been preparing for this oh, forever. Yeah. Relax. You know what? Have breakfast in the morning. Um, be positive, believe in yourselves. You got this. <laughs> um, remember to use all your strategies that we taught you this year and you know just apply your best. Have a good night's sleep. Um, make sure that you actually read your questions thoroughly. To try your best. That's really it. Try your best. <laughs> Going back in the passages, making sure that they find the answers, annotating those questions. Okay, whatever. I'll call back. <laughs> Mr. Fibby. <Fibbing. laughs> Hi, Mr. Fabulero. Can we ask you? Can we ask you some questions about the fast testing? At the moment, no. Okay. Take your time and do it right, and you'll be fine. I mean, you guys all basically have it in you. You've worked all year for this. I have full confidence in you guys, and I know you'll do well. Thank you so much. Bye, Miss Claire. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. It's been such a long day today.
Thank you so much to all the teachers that answered, and I hope you guys could take the advice that the teachers gave. Have a great day, guys, and good luck. Now let's see what the weather is looking like today with Alexander. Thanks, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. Today's weather will be a nice 88 degrees Fahrenheit with sunny skies. In other weather news, have you ever heard of a blue hole? A blue hole is a large marine cavern or sinkhole, which is visible to the surface. A massive one was just discovered. Near Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, it's the largest in its region and second deepest known to man. This new discovery is so remarkable because researchers think that the low light and low oxygen environment could be a gateway into how life was thousands of years ago. What an amazing discovery. Now let's go to Ariel for the birthdays. Thanks, Alexander. Today's birthday boys and girls are Marley Alexander, Harmony Kleiss, and Cornelia Matthews. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Ariel. Patriots, here are your path expectations. You represent... Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Stone, Ms. Pardinez, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Merkel, Ms. June, Ms. Carter, and Ms. Samuel. You all got the correct answers to Friday's Daily Challenge, which was, guess the drink. The correct answer was, a cappuccino. And now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge. What is the largest state in America? Teachers, please send your answers to primes.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When is we announced on the next morning announcements? Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a good day!